Hi guys, welcome to Winey Test Kitchen again. Today we will make something like very quick because it's Monday. Look at my shirt, it's blue Monday. So, um, and I just like too tired, so I want to make something quick, but in my refrigerators, I run out of like the fresh uh, produce. So today I think that everyone have like this kind of canned tuna mackerel in, in your pantry. So today we will make a use of that, okay? Let's see. Okay guys, here are the list of the ingredients that we need. Okay, so what I will make today is um, the, uh, the adaptation between two dishes, which is like uh, the canned mackerel in the tomato sauce, which is like very uh, typical in Thailand, and something called gel, dipping sauce gel. It's like um, the northeastern style, of like a dipping sauce that they are quite popular these days and it's very easy to, to put up but you will need some like uh, uh, very important ingredient that you if you miss it it won't be gel okay so first we will make the gel first so you will need to prepare like a, a lime oh, in here I have like a lime zest that I already grated it's like very because like actually if you don't have like the equipment to, to like uh, set the lemon like this is it is called microplane. I just learned it for like just like a couple months ago from the VA technician. And then uh, if you don't have that, you can, what you can do is like just like uh, peel like the lemon the lime, and then just like uh, chop it. But it won't be as good as the microplane because it's it, like you see. If you use like the, the sharp knife, you will have like no matter what you will have like the white skin in it and if you make like the dish like bitter, you know. So the juice and sets of two lime. Oh this is quite pretty juicy, yeah, you know. And then um, the ratio is like quite uh, similar. It's like because uh, you start it with like a tablespoon of everything, and then you adjust to your taste. I like my very sweet, you know, as you probably know. So I put like one spoonful of like chili flakes. It need to be Thai chili flakes because like we want the like the spiciness, too spiciness in this dishes two spoonful of like um, sugar and oh god okay and uh, I like it salty as well so it's like maybe four spoon They are not like really often that I try to be exact of the of this recipe, but but I will definitely be exact anyway, you know. So you make sure that everything combined together. Uh, the sugar might dissolve like easily. So what you can do is like you just heat it up in like the oven or microwave or something. It doesn't matter. And some of like shop onion I use red onion if you have shallot go with a uh, shallot and then some herb I just happen to have like dill and cilantro together so I just and it's like almost like go better date already so I will put it in usually you will put only like um, I believe Thai people are popular with like the cilantro and uh, green onion and this romaine, I will eat it uh, as a side dish, as a side. And then you taste it first. Wow! It's great. And then, <coughs> what you need to do is just like put the 
can mackerel in and then just smash like the fish to make it like some kind of a paste you make it like a I would say it's like a dip the dip some kind of the dip that because like I just have it like, uh, cooked uh, I just like have the stream rice for dinner so I think something that <coughs> I can dip in I can dip the sticky rice into it like in uh, in Thai we call the pig you know make into some something like that Okay. And special ingredient you cannot miss is like toast, sticky rice. This is essential. If you don't have it, it won't be nam simchao. This toast uh sticky rice you can do it by your own. You just like use the uncooked rice and toast it on like the uh, cast iron and toast it until it's turned like brown not burn but brown and it will change the textures of the dip and like the taste to have it more uniqueness and this is done I will eat it together with my romaine and uh, my cooked back sticky rice and veggies and I will call it a day. See you uh, later in the next episode of Wine Eater's Kitchen Focal between the place where you find precious and whining are together. Goodbye.